What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. The most common question that I get on my solar panel videos right now is can I directly connect my solar panel to my battery or in other words do I really need a charge controller? And the answer is yes and this video is going to explain why. Let's start by looking at the specifications of a common 12 volt solar panel. In actuality a 12 volt solar panel produces between 17 and 21 volts uh, depending upon certain conditions. As you see the VOC line there says 21.6 volts. That's what it produces when there's no load. Uh, when there is a load under VMP that's the maximum load, uh, maximum voltage that it can produce under load in test conditions. So next we'll look at the charging uh, program of a typical 12 volt battery. If you're going cross-eyed right now, that's for good reason because it's actually a fairly complicated program. Uh, it depends upon the, the discharge state of the battery. There's variable, various voltages that it will um, use and various currents that it will use depending on the charging state and all of that. That's what a, charging, a charge controller does is it manages that process. And so what happens is if you just have a solar panel connected to a battery, you don't get any of that intelligence. All you're doing is producing the load voltage or 17 volts roughly, and that's going straight into the battery. So the simplest possible explanation for this is 16, 17 volts is bad for your battery. It will overcharge it and it will destroy your battery. 14.4 volts or 14.6 volts is the ideal uh, charging voltage for the average 12 volt battery if you want it to uh, stay healthy and last for a long time. Now let's look at these uh, specifications for inverters. Inverters are the same thing. I get asked the question, can I put my, can I connect my solar panel directly to an inverter? Uh, the answer is no. You don't want to do that either. You want the charge controller there because the charge controller is going to regulate the voltage. If you look at this chart, you'll see that VDC line there in the middle, uh, that's the, the voltage range. Those first two columns uh, are 12 volt uh, inverters, the second two are 24 volt. So if you're producing seven, 16, 17 volts under load on your solar panel, it's not, your inverter's not gonna like that because it's not in between that 11 and 14 volt range. So the bottom line here is that you need a charge controller for all off-grid systems of every kind in my opinion now if you're smart enough to get around it or if you want to babysit the battery and disconnect it from the solar panel when it's full char fully charged knock yourself out but my recommendation to anyone that ever asks me the question is you do need a charge controller and there's no excuse for not having one because these cheap chinese uh, charge controllers the pulse width modulation version uh, are only about 10 or 15 dollars now so this illustration shows you the ideal way to set up your solar panel system. You have a solar panel connected to a charge controller and then everything else connects to the charge controller or to directly to the battery. But you do need to have that charge controller and that is the final word. Thanks for watching guys.